Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we're going to have a look at the home screen in your Xperia Active. The first thing you see after you've started and unlocked your phone is the home screen. The home screen can be customized in any way you like, and you can even use it with wet fingers. But too much water on the screen will turn off the touch functions. Wipe the screen dry with a clean, soft cloth if this happens. You can make shortcuts to your favorite applications. Change the look using wallpapers and add widgets and other items. The home screen extends to the left and right. You can view different parts of the home screen by flicking left and right. All in all, there are five parts. Here you can see which screen you're on. At the bottom of the home screen, you'll find the application screen icon. Tap it to see all applications that are installed. Drag to the left and right to browse. To place a shortcut to an application on the home screen, touch and hold on an application icon until you see the home screen. You now have two choices. Either place the shortcut on the home screen by letting go on an empty space, or place the shortcut in one of the four corners. The four corners are easy to reach using one hand, which makes them a great place for the applications you use most often. To open an application in one of the corners, simply tap it. Each one can contain up to four shortcuts. To start an application from one of the corners that has more than one shortcut, simply tap on a corner or drag outwards from it and select the app you want to start, either by tapping an icon or dragging in the direction of the shortcut from the corner outwards. To remove a shortcut, touch and hold on it until the trash can appears, then drop the shortcut on it. Open the application screen again. Here you'll find an icon for sorting your apps. This can come in handy if you have a lot of apps and you want to sort them differently. Tap Own Order. In this mode, you can rearrange the icons freely. Tap this icon and the icons will start to float. Touch and hold on an icon and you can place it where you want. When you're done, tap this icon again. Go back to the home screen by tapping the home icon. Widgets are applications that show information and run right on your home screen. To add widgets, tap the menu button and tap Add. Now tap Widgets. Pick a widget from the list and it's added to the home screen. You can also add folders or shortcuts to the home screen. Touch and hold on an empty space of the home screen. Pick Shortcuts. There are many kinds of shortcuts, such as a link to an album in the music player or a bookmark in your browser. I'll choose a direct dial shortcut. Now we'll have to select a contact and which number that should be dialed. This creates a shortcut that dials one of your contacts simply by tapping it. Time to add a folder. These are great for organizing apps and shortcuts and they only take up the same space as one icon on your home screen. To create a folder, Touch and hold on a shortcut and drop it onto another shortcut. In the pop-up, you can name your folder. Tap Done when finished. Tap the folder to open it and tap outside it to close it. To remove folders, widgets and other items, touch and hold on an item and drag it to the trash can. As you might have noticed, your phone comes with a blue theme that is shown in most built-in applications and menus. If you would like a different mood throughout the phone, you can change this. From the home screen, tap the menu key, then theme. You can now browse through the available themes and tap the one you like. At the top of your screen, you have the status bar. Here you will see notifications when something new happens, like this. For instance, to take a look at the SMS we've just received, drag the status bar downwards to open the notification panel. Then tap the message and you will go directly to the messaging app where you can reply. Whenever you want to go back to the home screen, tap the home key. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. 
you'll find more information about your phone by visiting the support zone, where you can improve your user experience.